Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is uh, module 22.1, interior and exterior angles of polygons here. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com and this is an integrated math one link. Okay, so our question here is what can we say about the interior and exterior angles of a triangle and other polygons? Okay, so you guys I think have probably heard this before and if you haven't, that's okay. All the angles in any triangle adds up to 180. And if it's not a triangle, anything else other than a triangle, so the sum of the angles of a convex polygon with n sides is you just do n minus 2 times 180. Okay, and what is a convex polygon? Well, po convex polygons are the ones that we work with most of the time uh, are those that don't cave in. If they cave in, they're called concave polygons. So here's some convex polygons. This is uh, looks like a, a pentagon right here, and this side is 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven. This is a heptagon. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Okay, these are both convex because they don't cave in. Here are concave polygons. This is a concave quadrilateral. This is a concave one, two, three, four, five, six hexagon. You see how they cave in on the inside? These are concave right here. So we, we, we will work with these, but most of the time we'll work with these guys. So this lesson we're talking about convex polygons, okay? All right, so a regular polygon is a polygon that's equilateral and equal angular. And that just means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Okay, like a stop sign. A stop sign is a regular octagon, eight sides. Uh, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. A square is a regular quadrilateral. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. All right, so names of polygons. I know you've seen most of these before. I teach sixth grade also uh, online, and this is in their curriculum. So I know you've seen these before. Probably forgot some of these. So three sides, triangle, number of sides is triangle. Four sides is a quadrilateral. I'm sure you heard of that. Five sides is pentagon. You heard that. Six is hexagon. Seven, you probably forgot, heptagon. Okay, eight is octagon, and octopus has eight legs, so octa means eight. Uh, have you heard of the octo mom? That's a lady who had uh, uh, eight tuplets, uh, kids. Uh, anyways, uh, nine is nonagon, probably forgot that. Ten is decagon. There is no name for an 11 sided figure, so we get, we'll go to 12 and then we'll stop there. 12 is two more than 10, so do, do for the two more. Dodecagon, okay? Anything else, we just call it an n gon. So an 11 sided figure would be called an 11 gon. A 23 sided figure would be called a 23 gon, and so on. Okay, so determine the unknown angle measures. Okay, so here, okay, we've got to do uh, count the sides up, which is the same as the angles, and do um, the n minus 2 times 180. So I'll just start here and go counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 sides, so n is 9. So we're going to do uh, 9 minus 2 times 180. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 times 180 is 1,260. So we add all those up and make it equal 1,260. Go ahead and solve for x. You get x equals 158. Okay, the second one here, there's six sides, so 6 minus 2 times 180. 4 times 180 is 720, so add them up to 720. Solve for x. Now, x here is not the answer because the angle measure is x plus 10. It says determine the angle measure, so the angle is 107 on that one, okay? All right, so an exterior angle of a triangle or any polygon forms a linear pair, a straight line with an interior angle. Okay, so can you see this outside angle and this inside angle make up this straight line right here? So linear pair. So angle one is an exterior angle right there. Okay, and the other two angles are called the remote interior angles. So these angles that don't form the linear pair are called the remote interior angles with respect to this exterior angle. Okay, so angles three and four are remote interior angles. So are the following angles exterior angles, angles, and if they are, name their respective remote interior angles. Okay, so I see 12 different angles there, and there's a triangle and some linear pairs and all that stuff. So is 4 an exterior angle? So does 4 make a straight line with 3? 
Yeah, it makes this straight line. So it, yes, it is a, an exterior angle. So the remote interior angles are the other two inside angles. So six and nine are the remote interior angles. All right, how about angle eight? Does this form a, a straight line with angle six? No, it doesn't. It's a vertical uh, angle. It is an outside angle, but it's not considered an exterior angle because it doesn't form a linear pair. So there are no remote interior angles on that. How about 12? Does 12 form a linear pair with uh, angle 9? Yeah, makes this nice straight line. So yes, it is a, an exterior angle. And so there are two remote interior angles are these two guys, the other two inside angles right there. All right, so this leads us to this theorem. An exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of their remote interior angles. So this exterior angle equals this one plus this one. So the measure of angle one equals, uh, looks I'm gonna run out of batteries, uh, three plus four right there. Okay, so determine the measure of the specific angle. Okay, so here I have an exterior angle. Here's two remote interior angles, so we're going to do 145 equals those two guys added together. Combine like terms, uh, add two to both sides, divide by seven. Okay, now it says find the measure of angle B, so we're going to plug in seven for the 5x minus two. So five times seven, I'm sorry, uh, 5x minus two, so five times uh, x is 21. I know five times two is 10, five times 20 is 100, 10 with a zero. 5 times 21 is another 5 plus 100. So this is 105. So we get 105 minus 2, uh, which is 103 right there. So that angle is 103. Okay, so here we have an exterior angle, and these are the two remote interior angles. Okay, so there's our equation. So we um, uh, combined the 2 and the 92. I'm going to subtract x, and then I'll add 8 and divide by 2. x equals 50. Now this says find angle PRS. PRS. So we're looking for that guy right there. Okay, so we're going to plug in 50 right there. So 3 times 50 is a 150. 150 minus 8 is 142, okay? All right, so let's just a quick recap. A polygon has interior angle sum of 2,700. How many sides does it have? Well, remember, n minus 2 times 180 equals the sum of the angles. So you can distribute the 180 through if you want, or this is usually divisible by 180. I'd rather get the numbers smaller, not bigger, so I'll divide by 180 and we get 15 and then add 2 and so we get 17 sides, okay? Alright, if you are in my class, I would probably assign you that. Take care.